Wagwan, that guy, not locks. This is not nation. You guys are the nation. I'm not Wagwan. We are doing a little video today, updating you guys on my locks. Um, I just washed them, so I'm gonna give you guys just a quick look on how my dreads look soaking wet. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is not nation. Free forms. <laughs> Yeah, so we're back here today doing this free form Monday. I just washed my locks. It's been long overdue. The last time I washed them has been probably well over a month ago. And I normally try to wash once a month. I don't really need to wash every week or every other day or every third day. Uh, every month kind of works well for me. Sometimes I even go every two, three months at its worst or at its best, whatever it may be. Um, I just don't try to wash too much. Um, this today when I washed it, I did face a little bit of a dilemma because I didn't have any shampoo. I've been out of shampoo for quite a while. The last one that I used was noggin oil. And this one essentially is comprised of essential oils. And it really opened my mind to um, the ingredients needed in your shampoo. Obviously the less, the better. And if any shampoo acts as a foaming agent where it, it foams the cleanse, it's not really good for your hair. It means there's too much chemicals in there. So I took that in mind today and I just figured like, you know what, I'm gonna make my own shampoo from now on because after having the noggin oil and realizing it's mainly essential oils and water in there, I'm just like, it's very simple just to use essential oils to wash your hair. So I'm gonna be using this from now on, just different blends of essential oils that, I, that I've collected. Um, specifically today, I used baking soda, water, and tea tree oil mixed in a bottle. And I just used that to wash my hair. And, and, and honestly, it feels more refreshing than any other shampoo that I've used in a long time. So what I've noticed with using the tea tree oil and baking soda water mix is that there's no foam. So you don't get that lather. You don't need the lather, to be honest. You just need to get the water and the essential oils to your scalp. And you really need to massage it into your scalp because that way it can help battle off any dandruff or itchiness and dry skin. And then the rest of the water will just soak through your locks and actually pick up the oil um, quite well. So <clears throat> when I'm done washing my hair, I usually wrap it up in this towel for a bit just to soak up the excess and then I use a blow dryer so I'm gonna take these out now and they, they dank of tea tree oil at the moment uh, but this is my locks fully wet And I'll give you a close-up of the scalp here as well. So obviously not looking as dry as it was in the last video because they're wet right now. But you can see how there's a lot of frizzy hair. And there's even some lint and some white fuzz in there. The smell right now is very overbearing with uh, tea tree oil. I think I put a little bit too much tea tree in this mixture because when I was pouring it, the lid broke off and it just went I'm like, oh shit, you didn't mean to do that. So definitely we'll use less tea tree oil next time. And I'll probably mix even more essential oils in there to give me just a little bit more added benefits because the tea tree oil is an antifungal property, which means it's good for dandruff battling. Um, but if you wanted to change the fragrance, you might want to use some more things like rosemary or um, actually even like lemon or orange citrus essential oils. You can really choose whatever you want. 
Um, but obviously like tea tree being a really good principal ingredient in that. Um, the baking soda as well kind of helps a lot. Um, I feel like it battles, it balances the pH a bit more in your hair. I'm not really too sure exactly what the baking soda is going to do. I know that I, I use baking soda in the beginning stages of growing dreads because it does help dry out your hair so that you can lock it better in the beginning stages. But I do find it still good. I still find it good as a base ingredient for shampoo. Um, at times, I have just used water and baking soda to wash my hair. Um, again, that was at the beginning stages of my freeform dreads. Um, so today, I just added a bit more of uh, tea tree oil in there. Um, so it is going to take me a while to dry my hair today. I do have my handy dandy double blow dryer, double barrel blow dryer that I'm gonna use for a little bit, probably about an hour. And it's really hot outside today. Well, not really hot, but it's warm outside, 18 degrees Celsius. And that's warm enough for me to go out and let the sun dry my hair off really good today. So I tend to wash my hair on days when I can let it air dry. And I'll always wash my hair in the morning, never at night forcing me to go to bed with wet hair. You just don't want to do that. Don't go to bed with wet dreads ever because that is how you create mildew and, and mold buildup in your dreads when you're able to just let water sit in there overnight and it, it will start to smell, to be honest. So always wash your hair in the morning so you can air dry them for the rest of the day. And by the time you go to bed, things are looking nice and dry. Um, and if you are using blow dryers to dry your hair, do not blow dry until 100% dry, where it's bone dry, because you're just gonna dry out your locks doing that. Um, if you're forced to use a blow dryer, usually go between like 60 and 70% dry, and then let it air dry the rest from there on. You don't wanna bone dry your locks um, with a hair dryer, of course. So, you know, that's just my video today. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on how my locks are flowing with this, um, with this, new wash they smell a lot better than than what they were before um so i did go camping last month and believe it or not there was still some smoke odor in there from the campfire that really came out especially after i sweat from like hot yoga or something like that like there was a lot of um build up in there and even when i do hot yoga like i sweat so much um yeah, even that starts to really smell a little bit when you when you leave sweat in there too long. So after I sweat, uh, I, I'll try to like rinse with water on my scalp and wipe it down as best as I can. Uh, if I don't, if I'm not in the mood to really wash my hair right away. And with that being said, like hot yoga at nighttime, you're kind of going to bed with wet hair, but not fully wet because it's not like it's been washed th thoroughly. You're just sweating from the scalp. So it's like just passable with going to hair, going to bed with like sweaty, sweaty hair. Um, let me know in the comments below what was the last shampoo that you used that was residue free. And if anybody has made their own shampoos in the past or present, let me know the ingredients that you've used and find that work very well for your dreadlocks personally. Um, so. I do have some more Dreadlock Reviews uh, subscribers coming in. I have two pre-recorded that I need to live stream or just do a video on really shortly. So stay tuned for that. Um, not Nation shower caps, swim caps are on their way. So stay tuned at the store for that. And I still have um, Tams and t-shirts available on the merch store. Uh, link is in the description below if you guys are interested in that. There is a discount available on the store right now if you go and check it out. And, um, and lastly, I just want to wish everybody a happy and productive day. Uh, go out there and try and reach for your dreams, chase those dreams and uh, be productive and just, you know, spread love and, um, and share this channel with somebody today. Let's grow the nation. Let's keep it growing. Just like our dreads, our dreads grow our dreads. So definitely big ups to everybody that's been watching these videos over the years. Um, you know, I definitely appreciate every single one of you guys that have clicked around this channel on the website and big ups to everybody that's starting their dread journey and big ups to everybody that's in the dread game for years. 
already because there's a lot more years to come. So Dredspiration, Dredication, all that's happening on this channel. All while we Dreducate in this entertainment. Dredutainment. <laughs> dread everything. I don't think it's a negative word. I love the word dread, so I use it as much as I can, just so you know. I will never stop using the word dread over locks. But anyways, I'm gonna head out. Peace out, one love. Thanks for watching this video. Stay happy and napping. I'll see you guys in the next Dreadlock update. I'm gone. Adios.